Celtic women <laughs> descending on us. At <laughs> we have a cup of tea, girls. Ah, sure, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, why not? Good. Good. <laughs> you will, you will. <laughs> <laughs> See, even oh, Mrs. Doyle, Alison, <laughs> Mrs. Doyle is going to turn tea into an art again, <laughs> doesn't she? Yeah. In Father Ted. But uh, we'll let the girls get settled because we've got a musical treat coming up for us. And, of course, Mike the Violin, wherever there's music, yeah. Mike the Violin is never very <laughs> far behind. You're right, Michael? Smash Will you have a cup of tea yourself? I will. I will. I you will. I might even have a cup of coffee. <laughs> the best of the region's football talent. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can I offer you a very warm welcome to this year's MBNA Northwest Football Awards? We're surrounded with. We've got beautiful tea. We've got wine coming up. We've got George's lemon drizzle cake, and now we've got music provided by two drop dead gorgeous <laughs> musicians. Uh, what a shame! It's radio. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> stunning. Uh, so, who, who have we got here? Well, I'm, I'm Mairead Nesbitt from Celtic Woman, and I'm also a Mairead. I'm Mairead Carolyn. <laughs> How do the two Mairead's get together in the first place? How did you meet each other? Um, well, Celtic Woman as a group has been going 10 years. Um, so, yeah, um, but I only joined three years ago. Mairead's been, it from, been in it from the very beginning. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of came in and met Mairead after many years of admiring her. How many of us are there? There's two more girls, uh, Susan McFadden and uh, we have uh, the lovely Ava McMahon as well. So, um, But we decided, uh, we, we just met the fantastic Mike over here uh, earlier on today and um, I have the very fantastic privilege of playing um, uh, Mike's handmade violin. Fantastic. Here uh, tonight, so uh, and he also he also uh, repaired my violin today, and he came to my like damsel in distress call. I emailed him last I night. I got a very yeah. strange email last yeah. night. <laughs> it said the Celtic. Celtic woman I'm a Celtic requires woman. somebody to fix violin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was on a date. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just wrote back and put a dear Celtic woman, Scouse man, <laughs> to the rescue. I know, and I was so delighted. And uh, he rang me this morning and he says, Scouse man here. And I went, who is this? <laughs> and it was my. How did you get my number? Is what yeah, said. yeah, that is what I said. How did you get my number? But anyway, he absolutely came to my rescue, and uh, we've had um, a great time in his beautiful workshop today. And it he's is been, stunning, um, isn't yeah. it? So homely, yeah. and at the same time, it's it's craftsman, absolutely. isn't it? It's how you a, a child would envision yeah. a craftsman stunning. at yeah. work in his, yeah. in his kind of yeah. very atmospheric workshop. Absolutely, especially with that beard and that <laughs> mane of white hair as Just well. Just an amazing person and um, like very very uh, absolutely indebted to him now for coming to my rescue and I'll, I'll be going into him again and again now my violin next time we're back and well he's dead famous yeah. he's been on telly flog it <laughs> <laughs> didn't they? Oh, yeah, I, I to your workshop I was on flog it yeah I was in the big issue <laughs> oh uh, my yeah, gosh yeah, yeah, all, you, know. you haven't I'm been in, in good housekeeping in, yet uh, like Alison I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Bees Oliso at the Christmas edition are you two months yeah yeah do you yeah. know if a been viol taking some pictures by you know candlelight pictures oh have you oh yeah, very nice oh well that yeah. shows your complexion off best yeah. doesn't it candlelight and there's a yeah. short film flattering. being done I'm rehearing some bows with human hair yeah oh for, I uh, for a lever brother uh, for Unilever for the sh you know because it's uh, like a shampoo promotion it's the shampoo that makes your hair that strong. You can wow. play a violin with it. Yeah, Sunset. see. Oh, Is that, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the, amazing. On YouTube, there's an advert. Um, if you type in violin bow human hair, there's an advertisement for one of their products, which has been des designed at um, Port Sunlight. Uh, but it's for the Asian market. So what they've asked me to do is rehair some bows that they can put in a display cabinet at the research department and say, you know, these are... These bows are rehaired with human hair, and the hair's being washed with their product. You see. So might but there be a TV advert in this? Uh, no, it? that's all been done. It wouldn't work. Oh. I don't think it work in the European market. No, and you're busy but, being uh, the milk tray man anyway, aren't you? Busy. <laughs> 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 we just had to make sure the bows were playable. You know what I mean? So of it's, um, so I've got the human hair in the workshop at the moment. Mm. It's very strange. Thirty-six nice. inches long. 
Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm, really? Some well, Asian hair and some Caucasian hair. Yeah, European like um, Crystal Gale was the famous yeah. uh, singer yeah. who had yeah. really long hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mind you, Maraid number, Maraid number one, yours <laughs> yeah. is on the way to there. Well, well, I'm isn't getting it? there, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> if we uh, matched um, a violin maker with a Celtic woman on a dating site, we've got <laughs> no strings attached. Very good. Oh, really good. Thank you very That's much. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I normally just get dead air in here. You can come again, you two. <laughs> Is there any chance we could hear some of your beautiful music? Absolutely. Then? Well, I was going to, first of all, show off um, Mike's beautiful violin um, with a, a slow air called uh, Queen Own Rua. And um, I actually had to ring up my mother there. Uh, Hi, ma'am. Kathleen Nesbitt, um, <laughs> <laughs> listening in from Ireland actually, and um, to to get the, the absolutely be right on the name, but it's Queena Own Rua, um, and um, hope you like it. It'll, it'll it'll show off the violin. Um, hopefully, if you can hear it from the mic there. Lovely, so, we will be able to. No problem. Right, I have to stand up a little bit. So but okay, please do. Get it. down the spine. Oh. <laughs> it was beautifully played and it Thank is you. a stunning instrument as well. Absolutely it is a beautiful gorgeous. instrument. It is. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank Not you. easy in just this confined <laughs> space as well. You know, it's hardly a concert hall for you. <laughs> what, what kind of venues are you used to playing? Maraid number two. Um, it kind of ranges between, I mean, we've done a lot of arenas this year. Um, so wow. we started off the year in the three arena in Dublin. Oh my goodness. Um, and, but then we also, when, when we go to the States, we love playing um, in theatre just because of the acoustics and the really kind of warm um, kind of sound that you get in mm. theatres. Um, tomorrow night we're playing the Philharmonic Hall here in Liverpool, so it's nice. We kind of have like an amalgamation of yeah. loads of different kinds of places that we play, which is yeah. cool. Yes, and but, has yeah. this been since childhood? You, you've, you've been playing the violin, both of you? Well, I mean, I have. I mean, I've been playing the violin since, uh, since uh, I was six, a very long time ago. And uh, But uh, with Celtic Woman, I mean, Celtic Woman has been going for 10 years and, and Maraid um, is a, 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 one of the absolutely amazing singers um, with Celtic Woman. And um, and actually, we're wrapping up our UK tour in a few days in, in London, but tomorrow night we're delighted to be, yeah. be here. And it's our 10th anniversary tour, actually. It's 10 years. Mm. 
So, um, yeah. yeah, and it's not actually only the second time we've been in the UK in that 10 years. It's It's been all over the world, but That's we've managed to get... most remiss of you, I must say. I know. <laughs> so come along now. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And so are you all from the same part of Ireland or a different... No, yeah. um, we all come from different parts. So I'm from the north of Ireland. Mm. I'm from a place called Derry, which is right by Donegal. Course, famous Derry. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely Derry on the banks of the Foyle. Uh, yeah. I'm from, from Tipperary. Tipperary. And then um, Ava and Susan are from Dublin. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So the dubs. The dubs. Yeah. <laughs> And so um, you miss home when you're touring or do you just, you know, it goes with yeah. the territory that you no, have we to do. be away? Definitely we do miss yeah. home. And, um, you know, I think actually at the close of this year, we'll have toured for um, uh, probably ten and a half months of this year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So yeah. it's a long time. We've been been really busy, but... Um, we're big family people too. Yeah, so we are. That, I think that's the hardest thing about being mm. on the road as oh, much as we're a family on the road, you know. Of course. Being away from your mum and your dad and your sister and your dogs. Thank so goodness for Skype you know, and FaceTime. Exactly, that's the beauty that. about, you know, yeah. media is the yeah. fact that we can, like, FaceTime home and yeah. actually think that we're there. No, it's yeah, nice. and obviously everything has a Celtic reference that yes. you play, yes. everything that you do. Well, I mean, the show, really, for our 10th anniversary show, we actually asked people worldwide what do they want to hear, you know, uh, from Celtic Woman over the last 10 years, and... and um, the, the request started flooding in, <laughs> of course, you know, and um, but I think um, for the 10th anniversary show, we've we've put in some really kind of favourites that people know and love, like Orinoco, Flo, Danny Boy, You Raise Me Up, all the all these favourites, you course. know, that people know and love, Beautiful. Amazing Grace. And then we have some new numbers as well, you know, so you had to, you know, so to make it a really dynamic kind of show Sounds for people as well, blend. you know, yeah. so a bit of a blend and something for everybody, you know. Yeah. So. Just over the last um, 10 years, years it mm. seems to me that the growth of interest in in the violin I don't know if you agree with this Mike or not but from a, from a non-classical perspective mm. you know it's crossed the violin as an instrument has crossed over hasn't it into mainstream yeah. I was watching a Rod Stewart concert just at the weekend and all the rock bands want these you know amazing usually female violinists and thank singers. god for that <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like right out front you yeah. know it's yeah. a real yeah. it's a cool instrument yeah. it's a yeah. really cool yes. instrument I think a lot of that's been to do with the introduction of electric violin yeah, yeah. yeah. As well, yeah. Right. we find okay. out today that jimmy hendrix actually played violin yeah i that's never right. knew yeah, I actually didn't, I didn't even know, know that, that either. And uh, this amazing violinist, uh, fiddle player, uh, Mark O'Connor, he's an American uh, fiddle player, and uh, he had it on his blog. And I, I was looking at his blog today, and um, of course, I'm a huge Hendrix fan. I'm, I like his. Oh, one, you? One, oh yeah. yeah, one of my my <laughs> idols. Yeah. And oh. um, so I didn't actually realise at all that he played violin. But um, but from my perspective, really, as a as a fiddle player violinist, for me, it's a huge privilege to to work alongside three amazing singers like like the girls um, in Celtic Woman because, you know, sometimes, you know, um, I think you're right in saying that the violin now has, it, it's, you know, become on a par almost in a soloistic quality doubt. with the singer. And it's actually really important and it's something I've worked really hard for and, and I'm sure other violins too. And But it's just a privilege for me to to be on stage with with um, you know Mairead and, and Susan and Ava as well, so we just love the love singer, singing together. The and singer's voice can blend yeah. so seamlessly with the notes of a violin. I think that's the beauty about um, the acoustic instrument. A lot of our stuff is obviously it's done for a show, so it's actually really nice to hear instruments in a really raw setting. Like it wouldn't be actually very often mm. that I would hear Mairead Nesbitt play in a setting like this, and it's nice when you strip everything back, you kind of. Hear, you hear the wood in the instrument, you hear the breathing of the person, right. yes. which sometimes you can forget when you're in a live setting, you know, like in a in a hall when you're mic'd up and there's an audience there. Um, yeah. So we, I think Good we're point. just all really, um, we can, it's kind of, we, we pinch ourselves every morning when you wake up and you kind of go, wow, this is my job, this is what I do. Like I, I'm a performer and I get to sing for people and I think a lot of people are just touched by music um, yes. in, in any capacity, so. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I just think, you know, music is an amazing thing. I and think in the world now, mm. uh, you know, music has got a more important part to play than ever, isn't it? Yes. It yeah. transcends cultures, barriers, religions, whatever. Completely. And can be such a solace at a dreadful I had, time. That I had just a heard. really horrible moment at one point where I was like, what? 
why am I a singer when I could be a doctor or a lawyer <laughs> or like someone helping people? And my mum actually sat me down and she was like, but you are helping people because those people that are doing all those really late night shifts, nurses, doctors, whatever, they need to relax sometimes, right? And so when they come to your concert or whatever, they're coming to get away, yeah. to have like some kind it's of catharsis. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, that kind of put me at ease on that one. It, it's a, it, you know, music really can, um, it, it is a form of therapy. And, yeah, you know, there is, there's, there's music therapists out there, you know, that do incredible jobs. Definitely. So A world without yeah. music is just unthinkable. I yeah. Think. yeah. Uh, the morning after Paris had happened, you know, when they were just completely mm. stunned and reeling with shock, a musician the took his player. keyboard, the yeah. piano player, yeah. And he, and he Amazing. sat there and played. He just started playing. Imagine. Played imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody just house. gathered around. And it was like yeah. it was yeah. like going to church. It was yes. kind of, well, let's go to him. Let's gather around him. And it yeah. just gave space for thought and an outlet yeah. for everything. Absolutely. Um, I don't suppose we could hear you sing. Yeah. Right. Could <laughs> yeah. we? All right, yeah. Is that Why okay? Not? Sure. Wow, Absolutely. that would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do, yeah. I'm going to put my... Mike, if you don't mind, I'm going to put the mute on so I don't drown out Maraid. <laughs> <laughs> because the violin is so powerful. <laughs> wow, what a treat. Thank you. Uh, you you might know the, this um, one. Danny Boy. Yeah.
I can hardly speak. <laughs> Pass the tissues. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was Brilliant. amazing. Fantastic. Hardly yes. speak. I was going to go to some music. I'm really glad I was on first. <laughs> Enya Oronoco, Flo, have you met Enya? <laughs> yeah, yeah I think I, I think a few a few of us have like She's you know enigmatic. <laughs> <laughs> we love Oronoco, Flo. There, that's beautiful. That's yeah, one of and our you, big you numbers. play that, yeah, of course. We do. Yeah. And uh, and your singing on on that as well. Yeah, as well. It's this, that seamless blend again, which mm-hmm. is what happened in Danny Boy. The two of you just morphed into one. It was <laughs> just. Thank Glorious, you. it you. really was. I'm sorry I couldn't speak earlier on. It, just, it had that effect, I think, on all of us, doesn't it? And including Alison uh, as well. Absolutely lovely. Um, we had the privilege of, uh, of meeting James Horner, didn't we, Mike? Um, Mike um, uh, organised for James Horner, the, one of the world's foremost film uh, score composers, yeah. to come in. And he joined us one children in... Well, it was last year's Children in Need Night. Yeah. And um, he just premiered a piece of work with Marion Hakon from Norway yeah. at the Philharmonic Hall and he came 
straight down here. Mike drove them all down here. And he stayed with us for the three hours, didn't yeah. he, and helped raise yeah, money for right. children in need. And um, he was going to write a piece for you for the Scouse of Arius project, That's right. yeah. wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. That yeah, we yeah. were, he was going to come back and premiere it in Liverpool. And because Mike Scout, did Mike tell you about it's his Scouse of Arius project? Amazing, amazing project. project. Amazing project, yeah. which is going to last hundreds of years and perpetuate um, mm. musical education for disadvantaged children. Amazing. And um, James's um, influences was, like yourself, totally Celtic. Every film score he did, whether it was Braveheart or Titanic, yeah. obviously, yeah. Um, Avatar, everything yeah. he did yeah. was influenced by the he Celtic loved, way, yeah. wasn't he it? He loved oh, yeah. Celtic music, yeah. 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 yeah, wow, what a composer. So, um, you're 7.30 tomorrow at the Philharmonic yeah. Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think there would be still some tickets left there if people be, yeah, want to still a few catch left, up yeah. with you? Yeah. 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 Other than that, you, you have got CDs. You've been in the recording studio yeah. many times. Yes, yes. So We do. This, we have yeah. our 10th our anniversary, um, you know, bundle uh, at the moment out. And, of course, Destiny, our new, our new DVD and CD is coming out very, very soon as well. The CD is actually out and the DVD is coming yeah, out in, I in think December. It's, I think um, the Destiny CD is available on iTunes at the mm. moment, yeah. um, which was released last week with DECA here in the UK. Um, it's funny because we're releasing it in different places, so it's re already released in Germany, just yeah. about to be released properly here in the UK. Yeah. Um, so, but then there's also the the kind of archive of stuff that um you know that people know uh, of Celtic Woman. Um, so yeah, there's five. Yeah, five actually, or six um, CDs. yeah, there's 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 a lot of of CDs and DVDs we've done actually. Um, Been busy over these ten years. Yes, yeah. yes, on. <laughs> almost one one every year. So <laughs> you know, so. Um, yeah, and you've it. been on television as well, and in yes. tele on television in America. Yeah. In fact, there was a, a, a story about PBS America, isn't there? Yeah, well, well, Mairead knows all about this, but um, uh, Celtic Woman was set up for PBS in America. Um, it was meant to be one night only, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they just kept... They, people just loved it so much that night that they just wanted more, so kind of... The ball started yeah. rolling, doesn't it, Marie? Yeah, it's great, and 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 actually, since we're talking about education for for kids as well, you know, of course, PBS in America is really the only channel that they have there that's dedicated to culture in, in America, like that, that without the ads and without this and that and the other, you know, and um, you know, I remember um. Uh, Sesame Street as a child um, <laughs> in Ireland, you know, and uh, that was PBS. That was PBS. Oh, and, of course. Um, yeah, and uh, like, you know, it just brought us into everyone's houses, basically. Literally, that's what it just beamed us in. Beam us in, Scotty, basically. <laughs> into everyone's houses, you know, um, in, in the States. And um, and it really propelled us. It was a huge thing for us. And it's been a great partnership ever since. And they've been involved ever since with us. Wow, yeah, amazing. Yeah, every DVD. Well, uh, Mike, you've found many, many musicians yeah. for us over the years. I think you've surpassed yourself uh, this time. Yeah. <laughs> From what was seemed like a very strange email. Um, <laughs> well, what happened was I, I, I did some stalking then. You know, once I found out who it was, I did a bit of stalking. And the girls won't tell you this, right, because they're too, they're too, um, too nice. humble, really. <laughs> Listen to this, right. Mairead Carlin, that's the beautiful um, brunette girl here, right? <laughs> She uh, trained at Trinity College of Music London, signed to Decca, Gosh. has a debut album of um, Songbook. Is that, open? Is that out now, Songbook? Uh, yeah, well, it's to be released. Right, right. <laughs> to be wow. Performed for the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. Right. Wow. Um, sang the Irish anthem at the England, rugby, uh, uh, England and Ireland rugby game. Audience of millions on oh TV. Oh, my gosh. On stage with Snow Patrol and the priests. You know well. At the priest who were in here yeah. oh, last lovely. week, yeah. And toured UK and Ireland with Don McLean and the sellout at the Albert Hall. Oh my God. Right, okay, that, that's one, that's one Mairead. Now the other Mairead, Mairead Nesbitt, <laughs> the blonde bombshell. <laughs> I come to a musical family influenced by diverse artists, it's Zach Perlman, Stefan Grappelli, etc., etc. Trained at the Royal Academy of London and London Trinity College. The former All Ireland fiddle champion. Oh. <laughs> so that's why wow. she plays my violin. I am really, really honoured. Really oh my honored. goodness, to be the champion in a place like Ireland yeah. is saying something. Usually plays both classical, uh, unusually plays both classical and Irish traditional music, which is difficult. Worked with Nigel Kennedy, Van Morrison, Sinead O'Connor, 
Planad, Emily Lou Harris, Krista Berg, and had a violin fixed by Michael Phoenix. <laughs> Played <laughs> 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 oh, on the original River Dance soundtrack, Lord of the Dance, and Feet of Flames on three world tours. You played on the original soundtrack for River Dance. Yeah, yeah, and I was the original fiddle pair with Lord as well, and you know, but sure, oh God. Oh, my oh Lord, I've been out a while. <laughs> four dates left in the UK, then 17 <laughs> dates uh, in December in the USA. Yeah. 17 in December in the USA. Mm. Then in February, 13 dates across Germany, Holland, Switzerland, Austria. And then starting in March, over 70 concerts in North America, taking going from March to June. I'm exhausted <laughs> just hearing about it. I want my no. mommy. <laughs> wow. And that's just the future. And you were saying, Mairead, that you've, yeah. you haven't stopped since February. No, yeah. we've we've literally kept going. W- well, we wanted to do a new DVD and CD, so we were supposed to have three weeks off in August, yeah. but two of those were in the recording studio and filming. So we've literally been on the road since February this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's you know what we absolutely love it, and we wouldn't be here doing mm. this if we didn't love it. And yeah, that I think that's when you when you stop loving it and when you stop kind of really feeling um, on stage. That's when you should just kind of put it down and just go right that was a time in my life but I, I can't see any of us doing that ever really just because yeah. the place that it comes from for us is a really honest place and um, it's not about fame it's not about money it's not about any of that fickle stuff it's about singing and playing mm-hmm. real honest music the joy so, of the expression of it it really is wow yeah. could we have a final piece with it would is that you can play <laughs> you give me to <laughs> <ask. laughs> <laughs> Would that yeah. be okay? Yeah, yeah okay. fantastic. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you so, Shannon? so much. Hmm? Yeah, I can. Let me see. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I'll play Shando. Oh, yeah. lovely. Try on the fiddle now. This is my smiley and I'm not used to it. No, <laughs> but no it's don't make fabulous. <laughs> both very very much it's been a total joy and a privilege having (laughs) you you here tonight thank you for having us just Just totally seriously (laughs) stunning and impressive thank you so much and i have a lovely concert here in liverpool tomorrow night and don't stay away too long (laughs) (laughs) been away too long already (laughs) mike thank you so much for introducing us to maraid and maraid and celtic women on the philharmonic hall tomorrow night at 7 30 thank you thanks very much